After you've ensured that all of the prerequisites are up and running for AffPoint policies, you can go in and start to create and apply policies to your Microsoft 365 scopes. To do that, log on to AffPoint Online Services, and on the Home tab, locate and click on Policies for Microsoft 365. In Policies, you'll land on the dashboard. And you can see here that under Policy Violations, it shows the Create Policy button for all four of our Microsoft 365 scopes. That's your indication that there are currently no policies to be applied. To create a policy, locate the specific object type you want to build a policy for, in this case let's do Microsoft Teams, and click on Create Policy. Please note, you can also go over into Policy Management if you prefer. On the Create Policy page, you can see that the object type is already set to Microsoft Teams. If I had accidentally clicked the wrong button, I could switch the object types here. Below that, you can create a brand new policy from scratch, or you can copy from an existing. We can see that there are three policy templates that are available for Microsoft Teams. Selecting any one of these templates will copy in all of the rules that that template includes. So these can be a great starting point for you. Note that you can turn these off or remove them completely at any time if you like. You are not modifying the template, you are creating a brand new policy from that template, which again contains these specific rules. If you would prefer to create your rule from scratch, choose Create a new policy, and then no rules will be automatically inserted. First, we have to give the policy a name and optional description. We then scroll down, and off to the right of Rules, we click Add Rule. Your rules are really the meat of the policy. The policy is essentially there to allow you to organize groups of rules into some type of theme. What is it that you are attempting to prevent from happening? So we click Add Rule, and then we go to the drop-down, and here we can see all of the rules that are available for Microsoft Teams. To search for a rule, type in a keyword. When you find the rule you want, just click it. Below will be the rule settings. For the external sharing settings, allow group team owners to add people outside the organization, the default setting is no. If violations are identified, if violations are identified, would you like to reset? This will not only apply to new teams, but this will also apply to existing teams. So essentially, if someone is allowed to add external, an existing team will be modified so that the external sharing is disabled. If it does find that, would you like it to email anyone? This could be the group team owners. You could even put in an email address for someone like, say, a governance or compliance officer, or possibly even an administrator who would follow up. The idea there is that we are not doing this in a vacuum. We have internal governance policies which dictate these rules be in place. So if someone has violated the rule, we would like someone to know about it so that they can follow up and ensure that that person gets the appropriate training they need so in the future they know not to violate our policy. Once this is set, down at the bottom we click Add to Policy and our rule is in place. We can continue to add rules as necessary. And as I mentioned earlier, at any time you can remove rules or simply disable them for the time being. Down below that, how often do you want it to scan? Your most frequent is once a day. How long would you like to retain the data? The data associated with that rule is going to be important for reporting. And whether or not you would like to filter. I don't have any filter policies in place right now, but essentially a filter would allow you to specify a subcategory of things to be selected. So in this case, a subcategory of teams as an example. If I wanted that, I could build the filter right now. Or I could build my filter under general settings, and then when I come in to build my policies, it's already there waiting for me. If everything looks good, then down at the bottom we click Create Policy. 
Now under policy management, I can see the policy. I can see that it has rules, it's not assigned, and it is a Teams-based policy. I could edit it, I could assign it, or I could remove it if necessary. To begin using this policy, you must assign it. So I'm going to click the Assign button. And in the Assign Policy panel, and in the Assign Policy panel, I can see Default Office 365 Group is available to me. Remember, this comes from your Avpoint Online Services Auto Discovery Settings. We have an Express Scan Profile, which is finding all Office 365 Groups and MS Teams and putting them into the default group. If you make an advanced profile, you can break those up into separate groups as you wish, and then you would see them here. In this case though, I have the default. I'll expand it, and it will show me all of the things that it has found in Microsoft 365 for this tenant. I can select these individually, or if I wanted them all, I could just simply select the entire group. You can assign more than one policy to every scope. In this case, let's say I want to target a few of these. So my sales, and then I'll click assign. We can now see that this policy not only has two rules, but has been assigned to two different nodes. We can also see that there is a new button down at the bottom. This button will run the policy, which essentially means if you think back to the rules, it's going to check to make sure that the external sharing settings are set to no, and it's going to check that my site external sharing settings are also disabled. So this is your way of manually kicking off that job rather than waiting for it to run on its schedule. If we now go back to our dashboard, we can see that Microsoft Teams no longer shows the Create Policy button, and we can see that Microsoft Teams, two of our six teams, have policies associated. Our scope coverage tells us that 33% of our teams are covered and 95% of our total objects are currently uncovered. Again, we currently don't have any specific policies built for groups, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive. Thank you for watching this short video on how to create and apply policies using Avpoint Policies and Insights.